Okay, we'll start. All right. Okay. I'm on the pan. Do the kind of um, scrub, maybe. Start with me. If you want, I'm just going to say welcome to the wild west coast of Tasmania. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, rolling. How you going there? Welcome to the wild west coast of Tasmania. As you can see, it's basically impenetrable, uh, temperate rainforest full of razor grass. This stuff here will buddy, cut you readily. It's full of leeches. It's uh, very precipitous up and down mountains and valleys. But there are all sorts of treasures to be had here. And one of the ones I'm looking for today is osmeridium, one of my favorite minerals. It's a alloy of osmium and iridium. It's uh, super rare. It's uh, super unique. This is one of the few places in the world you get it. In fact, this part of the west coast of Tasmania, they found nuggets of osmeridium up to four ounces. Now that's probably an equivalence as rare as a thousand ounce gold nugget. Um, I haven't managed to find any of those yet, but uh, in some of these creeks that drain this belt of country through here, which is actually a serpentinite, uh, ultramafic belt of country that's uh, from the Cambrian era, about 500 to 600 million years old. It's uh, heavily mineralized, there's lots of chromite through here, traces of nickel, traces of platinum group elements, all sorts of stuff, and as I said, this is one of the few places in the world you can actually find the rare and unique mineral osmeridium, which is actually kind of a bit of a cliche osmeridium. It's kind of an alloy of osmium and iridium. It kind of varies in composition. It has a little bit of platinum in it. Technically, osmeridium is not really a mineral. It's a kind of a group of assemblage, I suppose, of different metals. But uh, if we have a look in this creek just down below me here, I don't know if the camera's going to get it or not, but there's actually a lot of um, chromite concentrating on the bottom here the camera's probably not going to be able to pick that up but once we do a pan there we are, might be able to get it in there but that's chromite all in through there that's a very good uh, indication and the uh, chromite's definitely an associated uh, mineral to osmeridium so I'm going to take a couple of scoops out of this creek here this section and uh, pan it off and see what we get Clay up, that's quite often where the heavy, heavier material and heavy metals settle into. Oh, this water is icy cold too, by the way. It's absolutely freezing. Have a good shake off. You just scoop off all those bigger rocks. Shake it down gently. Let the water wash the lighter material off the top shake it down again that'll let it, any heavier material settle to the bottom of the pan and just float off those lighter minerals and systematically bit by bit I should be able to whittle this down to a couple of tablespoons full of, of, of concentrated dirt should be mostly chromite and Hopefully a little bit of osmeridium. As you can see now the bottom of the pan, that edge there is very black. That's all chromite there. It sparkles a lot. Sometimes it looks like gold. Sometimes it looks like osmeridium itself, but it's easy to be deceived, but that's just basically all chromite. Hopefully the osmeridium has sunk through that and is right on the bottom of the pan. So take it a bit slower now. There we go. Getting close.
Okay, getting real close. Right, oh, I might just get in behind you there. So then if we shake it to the bottom and run the water around the edge, hopefully down in underneath this, oh, there's a piece I can see right on the top there. A couple little bits there, some silvery metal coming out. That's osmeridium. So, so far I can see three or four grains of it there. Push that stuff up to the top. And then run it back around again. There we are. Hopefully you can see that on camera. There's actually four little colours of osmeridium there. I don't know how good the light is, but... There we are, you can see that there just. These little flecks here. That's what we're looking for, that's osmeridium. Super rare mineral. Used to be used way back in the early 20th century as a, uh, as a, a nib for fountain pens. Used to call it the point metal once upon a time and it used to be uh, actually more valuable than gold. In fact, uh, this first area through was actually uh, rushed for gold in the late 18th century and uh, they were finding osmeridium at the time and didn't know what it was and they were throwing it away because they had no idea. And of course keeping the gold and they threw this stuff away without knowing that it was actually worth more than gold at the time. So it took, a, it took them a couple of years to, to realise. But there we are, there's some osmeridium. Yippee!